Jonathan Franks, everybody. Itinerary. 
At 10 o'clock, you're going to the 7-Eleven, and then somebody would meet us at the airport with a rental car, and we put the business in the car, and Spider-Man would go do one round, uh, one route, and I'd do another route. So when we got to the store that we were going to open, or, or whatever we were supposed to do, and there were, you know, like 15 people in the parking lot, that opened the trunk, and I'd get the garbage can let out, I'd pull the cowl over my head, and I'd grip her on the two things, and I'd get up on the roof of the car, and, Ride into the parking lot. <laughs> and they say, You don't even look like Captain America. And I said, Well, that's all you get for today. <laughs> anyway, I did this, and there were two great events that were part of being Captain America. One was, remember the band Blood, Sweat, and Tears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before your time. It was, but yeah, once again, you get to radio, makes it think of <laughs> The drummer for Blood, Sweat, and Tears, named Bobby Colby, was a huge, um, Marvel fanatic. So Charlie and I were doing a, some convention, a Marvel convention, or a sci-fi convention, in um, in New York, somewhere near Madison Square Garden. And that night, Blood, Sweat, and Tears were playing at the Met, the Metropolitan Opera. <laughs> so they came to us and they said, "Would you guys show up and surprise Bobby?" And they made a deal, and you know, paid us an extra fifty bucks, so we got to go to the Blood, Sweat, and Tears concert. And during their show, we ran down the aisle, ran on stage, and surprised Bobby. Bobby, and he was thrilled, and he said, come for the party and stay for the party. So we went to the Blood, Sweat, and Tears after party at the Met. And here's where the good part comes. The advantage of being Captain America over Spider-Man was what? I mean, I don't know. Anybody? You can eat, you can, you can mouth, right? Is that right? You can get there, get there. You can eat. Drink. You can drink! <laughs> The second best Captain America job was at the um, Rosalind and Amy Carter, President James Carter and his wife and daughter, again, before your time, 70s, at the, the White House Environmental Lawn Party, hosted by Stan Lee, Amy and Rosalind Carter, and the Hulk and Spider-Man and Captain America. Thank you very much. <laughs> Amazing! That's a better